Hello, it's Angela from Create for Living, and I'm here with a bullet journal March setup 2019. The last two weeks of February have just been gloriously sunny, and we have daffodils and flowers blooming everywhere as if spring is here early. And so, for my March bullet journal, I'm thinking about bright colours as I wish for spring. And keeping with my Africa theme for this bullet journal, I'm going to be doing the African Starling, which is this glorious colour, this bright, reflective, shiny, purple magenta colour. And I'm also trying some fancy writing. So I first penned in everything, as you can see, and now I'm going to use some watercolour using my current Taki Gambi um, watercolour paints to bring in that beautiful shiny colour. And I'm just layering in pinks and blues as you can see with the watercolour. So I'll let you watch as I set up my title page. Enjoy. So now I'm doing the lettering at the bottom, I decided to do this in two tones, so I've used blue for the top half of the March lettering and that purple deep colour for the bottom half so I get this kind of shade, shading and I've also used some water between to blend the two colours together so they run into each other and then I'm very very excited I finally have a heat tool to help me dry so I could do this setup in one setting instead of having to do it day after day after day like I normally do while waiting for drying in between. So I could dry and then apply another layer on top with a detailed outline. So I'm just outlining now with a little bit more pigment on my paints. Having dried what's happening below, it doesn't blend right into those colours, but sits on top of the paint so that I can get that deeper colour that I wanted to get of the starling. I remember growing up and watching starlings um, sitting on the telephone line above our swimming pool and just being amazed that they were real, that they were actually birds, that colour, so bright and shiny and reflective and such a deep, beautiful colour. And they're one of my favourite birds, so I wanted to depict them here. Just drying in between layers. Now I'm going to do a quote that I found to go on this other page. And I absolutely love the quote and I think it's something that's true for so many of us. I think we all feel this way. I would like to paint the way a bird sings. Isn't that a beautiful quote? So I wanted the word paint to stand out and I also wanted the word sings to stand. And again I'm using this colour theme of the purples and blues. So just using my jewel tips. Um, these are WH Smith Gill Tips brush pens. I'm using the brush pen side and the other side to get different kinds of lettering. And this is a quote from Claude Monet, who is a painter. And just adding a bit more detail, going over with my black brush pen just to really emphasize some of those lines and the detailing, have it stand out, give it a bit of dimension. And that's my march title page just about done. I did go over some letters with my Crayola Super Tips just to get a different colour and create a bit of depth on the paint and the things and then again go outline them with a black fine liner this is my Faber-Castell size M, just again to give some uniformity to the page. I really love how this page turned out and I was so excited today on the 1st of March to be able to open up my bullet journal and begin to use this month's spreads. Now 
All right, so that's March title page. Moving on to my monthly spread. I'm going to draw a small monthly spread just on the right side of the page, outlining that using my Faber Castile pen, which I love, Artist Put pen. These are waterproof pens, which is always great because I usually use them first and then go over with watercolor and they never smudge, or if I accidentally spill water on my bullet journal, it wouldn't smudge the pen, which is really, really useful. And then I'm busy drawing a murmur on the side. So a group of starlets is called a murmur or murmuring. And so I'm busy doing that where they, they form these incredible, incredible shapes. I really encourage you to go on YouTube it if you haven't seen it. They look like they're painting in the sky, the way that they spiral together and just with lots and lots of specks of birds coordinated. It's like an orchestral musical piece. It's quite phenomenal to think that this happens and appears to be almost spontaneous and yet that's just the way they fly, so I wanted to include that. And on the bottom of this page, in purple, I'm doing a forest scene. And this is because I wanted this to match a quote that I'm going to put on the top of the page from Henry Van Dyke, which says, Use the talents you possess. The woods would be a silent place if no birds sang there except those that sang best. <clears throat> and I really want to encourage you, if you're someone who looks at bullet journaling spreads or looks at artwork on Instagram or on YouTube and thinks to yourself, oh, it's not good enough. I'm not as good as other people. I don't want to share what I'm doing. I don't want to show. Please, please don't feel that way. We all learn from each other. We all grow from seeing each other. There's many people with bullet journal that are so much better than I am. And yet I bring something unique and they bring something unique and we learn from each other and we enjoy the community being a part of this art world, this creative community, creative journaling. And so it's so important that we don't hold back what we have, but we give who we are and we share that for the blessing and benefit of other people. And that's really why I have this channel. And so let's sing our song our way. Let's paint the way a bird sings and let's not let the woods be silenced. Let's bring who we are. So I hope that'll encourage you and help you in your own journey to have a little bit of courage to share. Share where you're at, share what you do. I learned so much from so many people and I'm blessed to see what they have. So I'm writing the quote at the top. I outlined my calendar using the, um, I think I used my Crayola Super Tip just because I like that color. The forest scene at the bottom, you probably saw, but I layered it and dried in between just with deeper and deeper pigments, first putting a wash and then the sort of taller layer of pine trees and then a shorter layer of pine trees with more pigments, just getting more and more pigments on the brush of the water each time so that you get that kind of 3D effect. And writing now using my brush pen, the word March, and just a place to do notes. That's my monthly. Now I'm going to go on to my first weekly spread. And I'm going to change the way I do weeklies this month. I'm going to use a prioritizing task sheet rather than having a daily place to write for each day. Um, this is my personal bullet journal for home. And so I often have things that I want to get done in the week, like laundry and shopping and cleaning. Um, admin tasks and posts and that sort of thing so there's not necessarily a specific day that I need to do these on I want to just be able to jot them down jot the things that I'd like to do during the week and then I can allocate them to a day so I've done that for from today from Friday the first up until Sunday next week so until the 10th of March so a little bit more than a week because the week starts on Friday and I'm just listing all those tasks. I hope I have enough space for all the tasks that I'm planning to do. It might be that I say laundry and I tick that off on the days that I do it or something like that. It's kind of like a habit tracker um, for things that are repeated tasks. So I'm just going to try something new. This is the really the, the dream aspect of bullet journaling is that you get to try new things. You get to experiment. 
and I have a little styling there, just a simple little sketch singing because I wanted to bring up that aspect of don't forget to sing, don't forget to use your talents. Um, and then I have a little calendar and I'm just highlighting the days so I have can refer back to that. There's a place for goals, so anything big that I want to achieve and any events I'm planning to put on my monthly calendar, which was on the previous page. So this is just something new. I haven't tried this before in my personal calendar. I've done something like this before in my work bullet journal, but I'm hoping that this will work. I haven't set up any other weeks yet because I want to see if I like this or if I want to change back to a different kind of weekly spread or a combination of the two. Um, so we'll see how we go going forward. But I do like the idea of just having an overview. I think I'll use my personal bullet journal more and won't have the pressure to have to write in it every single day because I use my work bullet journal all day every day during the week but I don't always have time to write in my personal bullet journal in the evenings so I think this will just make it a little bit more user friendly for my current needs um, so that's my bullet journal set up for March I hope you enjoyed it and please remember to like and subscribe for more videos thank you so much for joining me all right Bye.